Welcome everyone to Harvest Moon DS Sunshine Islands, a game that is, technically speaking, a sequel to Island of Happiness, but at the same time more so it's like a related game. So this has been a very uh, long anticipated let's play from many of you, because ever since I played Island of Happiness on the channel a couple months ago, a lot of you were saying like, yeah, play Sunshine Islands, because you know, uh, this game is a lot better than Island of Happiness. I don't know if a lot of you know this, but Island of Happiness is regarded as one of the worst Harvest Moon games of all time. I'm sorry if you're a big time fan of that and you grew up and that was your childhood. That's fine and nostalgic and all. But when we're looking at things as objective as possible, let's be honest. Island of Happiness was really bad. I played through it though, and during the playthrough, I, you know, try to see the positives of it as much as possible. But anyway, this game... It's overall a huge improvement. I'm not saying it's amazing or anything, but it is a huge improvement over Island of Happiness. So here we go. We're going to begin to do a new game. Oh my gosh, I can already... Oh, I already feel just how much better this game is. Want to know why? Because... Wait a minute. Should I do this one? I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just go with the first file. We're going to overwrite this game because why not, right? Please choose your gender. Okay, we're gonna be a boy for this. We're gonna choose male. Please enter your name. But yeah, what I was saying is, oh wow, I was already loving the fact that you can actually use the pad to move. Yes, yeah, so like if I was playing Island of Happiness, what I would have to do here is actually use the stylus and tap on all the characters. But right now I'm ac actually using the pad. I can move left and right. Oh, that's so amazing. That's so freaking fantastic. All right, no, 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 no. Is your name is Shint? No. <laughs> I accidentally pressed uh, T. I meant to do Y. We are shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. There we go. Yes. All right. Please choose your birthday. Um, okay. So like your birth season. So my birth season, I typically always go with um, winter the 20th because you've, a lot of you are gonna hear this for the 18th time on this channel or so, but my birthday's on December 20th, so I like to attribute that to winter 20th in Harvest Moon terms, you know, or whatever. Oh, there we go. Um, is that correct? Yeah, so name shiny, gender male. Yep. Sounds good. Welcome to the Sunshine Islands, an island chain brimming with life. Some say the islands are not everything they once were, though. Many years ago, a great disaster befell the islands. Could there be a way to restore them? Maybe you can find out, Shiny. Whoa. What could this be? Look at this, look at this, so cute. Wow. Nice little town. Oh, so by the way, I guess I should mention that I know a fair amount of this game. I don't know almost everything, and obviously I'm going to be doing some research on this game as we keep playing through it. You know, uh, usually a good site for uh, resources for this game is Fogu. If a lot of you don't know, it pretty much details almost every single Harvest Moon game ever. It's a really good site for certain Harvest Moon games, but not the best site for other Harvest Moon games. It just kind of depends. So, yeah. Okay. It's the perfect place to start my ranch. I'm so happy I moved here. Taro should be here to meet me any minute now. Hello, Shiny. Hope you haven't been waiting long. Who's that? Oh, it's this guy. Guess what Guess what his name is. Could it be Taro? Oh, it's Taro. How's the new house? It's a little small, but it should be fine for a beginner, beginning ranch. Oh, what the heck just happened? No, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Well, I mean, at least you can all see. You can... I'm so sorry, uh, the control stick, my finger actually like moved the uh, control stick on the 3DS and I accidentally moved like two dialogues forward, but I'm sure you got it. You can also rewind and pause really quick. Um, anyway, we should go meet everybody. I will promise not to do that again. Hey, over here. Who are these people? Let's see. Everyone, this is Shiny. Hello, I'm Mirabelle. I run the animal shop in town. I'm so happy that you've come here to take over this old abandoned ranch, Shiny. If you ever need any animals, I'll be happy to help you out. Hello, my name is Chen. I run the general store in town. If you ever need any seeds or supplies, I hope you'll stop by. Name's Gannon. I'm a carpenter. My name... My name... My store is on the outskirts of the town. Anything you want built, I'm your man. Sounds great. 
Well, Shiny, you've got to pick a name for your ranch. What's it going to be? Hmm... I don't know. Please enter ranch name. Actually, I do know. Uh, I also do this as a Harvest Moon Let's Play tradition. As a reference to a certain farm. Or ranch, I should say. The Manor Farm. Yes. Manor Ranch, eh? That's a great name. Good choice. It's wonderful to have another resident on the island. Welcome. I'm impressed that you're starting up a ranch all on your own like this. If you ever need anything, you give me a holler. Don't be a stranger. Come by and say hi whenever you want. Sounds good. Sounds great. I've got a good feeling about these islands. I'll bet we can find, make a good life here. I've got a shipping business going so I can ship and sell any crops you grow. If we work together, we can really turn this place into a top-notch ranch. Yes. By the way, do you have much experience with ranch work? I used to be a rancher so I can teach you all about it. Follow me. Alright, we're gonna do some tutorials it seems. Not bad. To move around, use the control pad or touch the touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're like, or you can do this really garbage mechanic of, you know, using the touchscreen. You know, as a reference to Island of Happiness. For the 0.5% of people that actually prefer to move around with the touchscreen as opposed to the pad. Like, oh my god. Either touch them or stand next to them and press the A button. So yeah, if you want to play this game like Island of Happiness, you totally can. If you want that crazy experience, oh hell yeah, you know? Great, now let's talk about where you'll start your ranching career, farming. To grow crops first, you till the fields, then sow seeds, then water the crops. Then just make sure they're getting enough water every day until they're grown. Got the general idea? Do you want to hear the details? Hmm... Wait, what, what happens if I say... Yes, please. Great, then let's start with tilling the field. Use this. You receive the hoe. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go through this a little bit. I guess I shouldn't have done this, so whatever. My menu by X, it's like rucksack, and it's like, oh yeah, whatever, why don't you give it a shot now? Okay, so basically, we can go to the menu, rucksack, here's the hoe, and we're gonna set it to here. Now we go back, so now if we ever press this button, oh wait, sorry, if we press, wait, how do, how do, you, how do you change it? I'm trying to remember this. Oh, okay, you can actually press L to like put it away. Well, that's interesting, but that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put it right there. And so... No, there we go, it's Y. It is Y. So you basically select it. Okay. Wait, but I can't even... Here, let me talk to you. Got it, okay, now let me teach you how to tell the field. Up there is your field. It's a pretty impressive plot of land, don't you think? You can tell anywhere in this field, but why don't you start that close to me? Okay. I, I, was, uh, I was a step ahead in my bad on that. Press the R button to select the equip slot with the hoe. Once you've got it selected, press the Y button to use it. If you want to use a stylus, such... Okay, I don't want to use a stylus. Okay, got it. So you can do... Yeah, you switch with R and then L. L, I think, is to put it away, the one that you have equipped, which I don't want to do. Okay, I'm back. Had a bit of a technical issue there, but all right, that's right. Keep going. That's some terrific tilling. Now, till these spots. I'll explain why you want this shape later. Oh, yeah, because we clearly don't know. Yeah, you know, we're Harvest Moon noobs over here. Like, seriously. Also, this takes a decent amount of stamina per, per till, I would say. Yeah, pretty decent amount, but it's all good. Well done. You sow season in 3x3 three three squares, so you always want to till in that shape. Speaking of sowing seeds, here you go. You receive turnip seeds. Alright. Seeds plant around you in a 3x3 square, so be careful where you use them. You want to stand right where that arrow is in the middle of a tilt square. If you sow over here or sow over here, some seeds will wind up on the untilled land and they won't grow at all. Just give it a try. Equip the seeds in the equip slot and use them. Sounds good. Two. We only have two. Well, actually, two's more than enough. Like, come on, it's re it's really good. We're gonna do this here. Yeah. So I will tell you, like for example, if you're here, you got, like you have to stand in the middle, and then you press Y. Great job. You got each seed on a tilled square. You're looking a little tired and hungry. Take a look at the top screen. 
as you work and run around you'll lose stamina and fullness. If either runs out you'll collapse, you've got to make sure you're eating enough. You received green herb. Oh, we ate one. See, your stamina and fullness went back up a bit. Keep an eye out for the bamboo shoots, heart-shaped herbs, and other wild edibles. You can pick them up and feed yourself in the cheap. Anyway, let's take a break. Uh, okay, sure. Oh, look at that. Rest it up good. Now you've got your, your field tilled and your seed sown. The next up is watering. Here, use this. You receive the watering can. Alright, I'll take it. Now let me teach you how to water. First, you have to fill your watering can at a body of water like... Like that. Okay, just put the watering can in one of your equip slots, like they would, uh, yeah, whatever, okay, we got it. So, same thing, rucksack. I'm gonna go here, and yeah, we'll put it right there, sure. And then we're just gonna press Y. Alright, ready to water, touch the can or press the Y button to use the can. Try it out on each one of those seeds we just planted. Okay. Look at me watering like a pro. Oh yeah, I'm so, I'm such a pro at this. That's it. Keep it up. You'll be farming like a pro in no time. Now why don't you sell one more bag of seeds for practice? I'll wait right here. Uh, okay, sure. So we need to switch to this, and then make another set of nine. These grasses, by the way, you can just lift them up, and that's it. Oh, okay. There we go. Yep. There we go, and then rucksack. Here we got this this one. Let me just put it over here. That's fine. Press Y. Switch to watering can. Water with the can, and it's pretty self-explanatory, as you can see. Nothing too crazy here. I mean, obviously, I'm assuming most of you watching this are very familiar with how Harvest Moon works. Like all this is like basic stuff to you, right? Like it should be. I mean, if it's not, and it's your first Harvest Moon, like, I played through watching ever, then whatever, right? That's fine. Boy, it's getting late. Let's call it a day. Turnips need an average amount of water to grow. Water each plant once per day. Keep it up, and they'll be ready to harvest in four or five days. Once you do harvest the turnips... Yes. Oh my god, why are we walking like it feels like slow motion? Take them over here and put them in the shipping bin. At 5 p.m. each day, the contents of the shipping bin get shipped out and you get money for whatever ships. Hmm. The shipping bin's not just for crops either. You can ship just about anything. Anyway, I'll come back to check on you again in 4 or 5 days. Don't forget to take care of those crops. Also, you should check out the town when you get a chance. Have a good night. Yeah, I mean, that's that, that's a good idea, I would say. It is, it is a pretty good idea. All right, I'm tired. I should turn in. Turn in? I definitely... I've not heard that in a long time. Wow. Like a long, long time. I should write down what I learned today. That notebook should work nicely. This? It's time to sleep, but first I should go to the menu, open my diary, and save. Uh, okay. Diary. Choose either save or load. I'm gonna save. There we go. And... That's it. Save complete. So wait, when you save here... Well, it just says overwrite this. Okay, got it. So you can't like choose your file and use the one... Oh, that, that can complicate things for a Let's Play. If you're not able to freely save between different files. Because if there's like ever a tech issue, you want to be able to go back to it and correct that. But, okay. Um, Alright, other than that, yeah, we can sleep. Yes, we're going to press sleep. So our stamina has definitely been, you know... Consumed quite a lot, I will say. Alright, it's now the second of spring. Oh, yeah. Alright, time to leave. It's raining today. You know what that means? We just saved a bunch of time. Wow. That's pretty wonderful there. Alright, so I'm not actually sure what the hell... Oh, dude, I didn't mean to do that, actually. You don't want to take that stuff, because you want... You want to chop that stuff down. Now, these weeds and stuff, um, to be honest... Even selling them is not really going to net us, like, anything, I would, I would think. Uh, but, I mean, it, I guess in the beginning, it's it might be a useful thing to do, you know? Okay, so that does put stuff away. I just wanted to make sure. If only that was a different button, that would actually be a little bit more convenient, but it's not. Okay, I'm putting that right there. 
Um, I think you can yeah, you can trash stuff, but I don't want to do it. So if we go to the shipping bin, and then we do menu. I don't know. If, I don't know if there was actually a way. No, there's not going to be a way. You can move all the stuff together. Like if you do that and stack them, and you can go here, like that, and just you know just mash the A button. Goes from spring to fall. Can we pull or cut? Then we can switch, and then. Oh, okay, okay. I see. So you actually just examine it. I didn't even know that that's how it actually worked, but if we do... I thought there was a button, a way to... No, there's not. Okay, so there are some things that work a little bit differently, and I don't know why. I guess I just played too much Island of Happiness that I actually thought that this game worked very similar in that way, but I, I guess it doesn't. So, like, if you, if you examine this, the rucksack shows up. You can also go to Equipped and dump all that stuff in there. Wait. No, 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 but that's in the... How do you... Oh, I see, I see, okay. So you actually literally have to like... That's, that's a little ridiculous. So, I mean, I separated them, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but okay, so I'm learning basic, basic controls and stuff. It's, it's, it's a little weird, but... Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're done with that. It's already 8.20 a.m. I suppose today I can use, you know, I can use today to, like, talk to a bunch of villagers because there are a bunch of villagers here. Um, there's a bridge over here, but I think it's broken. Go to Lighthouse Island. No, we're not going to do that right now. Basically, as, you know, the title of this game suggests, there's multiple islands. It's not one island of happiness. It's multiple islands of sunshine, you know? Um, we're not doing that either right now. I'm kind of just, you know, exploring here to see if there's anything. But no, it's also just so that you are all aware of, like, you know, the world and how it all looks. So that's our farm area, as you can see. All this was the farm area. There's a bunch of signs which I didn't really read, though. I guess I should have. Ranch Island. We're going to go down into the town. Okay, so in here, let's see. We have Verger Island, an island with shops. A diner and a pier. We'll go in here, sure. Hello. Good morning, that breeze is telling me it'll be sunny tomorrow. Oh, are you the, are you the weatherman in here? Alright, there's you. Hi, shiny, everyone's really friendly on this island. I know everyone will be happy to meet you. Okay. Sounds good. Anyone else over here? Nope. We're all good. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. We found a jackpot. We're gonna grab all these herbs. It's very important. Because we need to keep some for eating, but we also need to keep some for... Um... Shipping. We're gonna need to make some money. So, what did I just pull right there? Bamboo shoot. Gather it in spring. Recipe. Ingredient. Rank B. Okay, that's a bunch of herbs. Not bad, not bad. We'll go in this house now. It's locked. Okay, wonderful. Next. It's locked. What? Why is everybody so freaking... Oh. Okay, well that's all that there is on this left side. We went to that first house already. Let's explore the right side. This one's opened. Oh, hey there. I'm Denny, a fisherman. I've been fishing here a long time, so if you have any questions, let me know. Yeah, sure. Who are you? Oh, I already talked to you before. Or I met you in, in that cutscene. I want to talk to your son over here, but... The name's Charlie. Chen's my dad. Talk to me when you want to equip a wonderful to a tool or make accessories. I want to do it. I actually can't. This is my shop menu. Select one of my one of the options and I'll tell you all about it. Equip wonderfuls. You can equip wonderfuls on most of your tools to upgrade their abilities. You know what wonderfuls are, right? They're those round colored orbs. Yeah, like, like that one. You can buy Wonderfuls, win them in contests, or assemble them from Wonderful pieces. Hmm. First, choose a tool to equip the Wonderful on. Not every tool can hold a Wonderful. Those that can't will be crossed out. This is the Equip Wonderful screen. The first thing you'll do here is pick a tool. Then there are a couple of things you can do. You can choose a Wonderful, you can remove a Wonderful, you can choose another tool, you can blah blah blah. 
I'll just do this one so you can see the tutorial for this, but yeah, so Island of Happiness also had Wonderfuls, uh, but in my playthrough I never actually did that because, you know, I played through like a full year and I got married and I was like, you know what, that's enough for this game, like that's it, because that game didn't really have too much going on for it. This game actually does, it has those freaking 100, um, okay, I guess I'm not going to spoil it yet. There's 100 of something, okay, just trust me on that. And you unlock islands with that. Uh, done with instructions, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Let me go ahead and talk to your dad. We can buy seeds, buy furniture, or buy other items. What are other items? Chocolate. Hmm. So chocolate is actually not a bad ingredient for eating. Uh, that's usually a strategy for Island of Happiness, that you would just buy a bunch of chocolate and then eat it. I don't know if that's uh, what I should be doing this time around, or if the herbs enough are going to be like be able to fund that. We'll have to see. Here's the wonderfuls. Red, blue, and yellow. Okay, please come again. I want to see your. Oh damn it! It really access the whole menu, huh? Buy seeds. Seeds are going to be very important to also buy. Uh, one twenty, one fifty for potatoes. I should probably buy like two of these. Um, you can put that in the rucksack, that's fine. Okay, I think that's it for this section. I don't believe there's anyone else over here. Let me just make sure. Nope, nobody else is here. Okay. Another building done and explored. That's not bad. Here's another one. This one is Mirabelle's shop. Close Saturdays. Shiny, our new life together is finally beginning. Ranch work might be hard, but we're both strong men. Let's help each other out. Good morning, how are you feeling? Make sure you're getting enough food. Yeah, I know, I know. Buy items. Okay, what do you have for sale here? Pet food, animal medicine, bell, brush. Well, it's very obvious, you know, that this is, um, I mean, it's very obvious what kind of shop this is. This is the fishing shop. I'm just kidding. It's the animal shop. So you're the one who moved to the ranch. I'm Julia. I help my mother with the animal shop. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. And that's it with that. Okay. Another building has been explored. I met the people. Nice. Okay, here's another building. It's locked. Oh, wonderful. Ha, huh, get it? Oh, wonderful? Because we just talked about so many wonderfuls. I'm so funny. Alright. No, I'm actually not. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at humor. Okay, we're gonna grab all this stuff. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Wait, you can't stack this crap? Oh, god. I actually... No, no, you totally can't. Like, if you do, well, actually, it's because they lose their rank. That's the problem. So, like, for example, and I'll show you this right now. So these are very similar, but if you do that, you can stack them. But then they end up like offsetting, if that makes sense. Like, they're always different ranks and stuff, which is a good idea sometimes. Yeah, see. So now I lost the A, but now this B, like, they all become that same quality and size and freshness as whatever you put them. So it can be a little dangerous sometimes to do that if you want to actually keep good quality items. It's kind of your choice if you want to go about that process or not, you know? Okay, so like with that, now our rucksack is full again. So now I have to decide. Like that one's fine, I was saying. And then like these over here, like that's an A, that's a B, whatever. Another A. Yeah, okay. That's all fine. I'm gonna leave that right there because I don't have the axe. And then this over here is the shore. That one's locked too. So there's a lot of buildings that I didn't go into because a lot of them are actually locked right now. Which is kind of a shame, but you know, that's, that's normal, I guess. Okay, and there's a bridge over here. This one's gonna be out as well. Meadow Island. Not doing that right now. I'll be going into those islands a little bit later. It's locked. Okay. And then this is the other one that was locked. So that's basically the whole island right there. As you just saw, um, but that's only one island, obviously. Is this one open? The diner is open, yes. Hello. This is Nick. So you're the ranger everyone's talking about. I'm Nick. Come by anytime. I've got a cream with some good cooking. Uh sure. What do you have? Boiled spinach. Miso soup. I love miso soup. Stir fried eggs. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. All this good stuff. 
All right. And that's about it for that. Okay. I can also go to the right. Actually, well, I'll probably have to clean up my inventory a little bit before I go around and, you know, foraging more stuff and whatever. So let's see here. We're going to go ahead and put... Uh, we do want to put a fair amount of these because I want to see how much money these things actually, uh, you know, go for. So one of the things that I know that I definitely have to do is... I'll put those in. I think... Oh, actually, I'll put in a bunch of these too. I think that's fine. I'll put the shoots. I should keep like two purples maybe. Sure, I'll even put this garbage weed because that's just going to... And this too, because like, it's going to waste space. I, you don't want to pick those up, you usually want to chop them. But I made the mistake of doing that, so whatever. There, I'll just keep two purples, that, that's fine. I think that's perfectly fine. Um, and then we're going to go into this over here. And we're just going to kill the soil. Okay. We gotta do another set here. Oh, I did the same one twice. That's not what I wanted to do, but it's okay. Yeah, so I actually, um, I should research into what herbs actually restore more fullness because I'm gonna need that. Uh, I actually realized that I should probably do that. Um, why did I, oh no, that's not what I want to do. Let's go into Rucksack again. We have to put um, these right there. Okay. Now we're gonna go right here. There we go. Alright, so we did that. Now we have four sets of crops going. Although that's every day that's gonna take a fair amount of stamina. Because that's a lot of crops. But we gotta deal with it because we do want to make money fast. I did not mean to go in there. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, so entering and exiting places in this game is automatic. If you approach it too close, you will enter it accidentally. Same thing about leaving. Uh, what is this? Sprout Island, Island with shops and an inn has a long pier. Okay. Oh my god, this place is humongous. Can I go in all these? I apparently can. Whoa. I don't know what I'm gonna find here though. No one in there either, but I'm just kind of, you know, going around here to... Just to kind of show off this place a little bit. In case you're curious and seeing it. Oh, there's you. Hello, I have to talk to you from here. Hello, I'm the innkeeper, Carol. Nice to meet you. This inn's been in my family since my grandpa started it. Oh. Well, good for you and your grandpa. Okay, nothing there. We'll just get out of there, that's fine. Yeah, there's like nobody in this inn. I don't know how this thing is in business, Carol. Like, there was not a single person in that inn aside from you. All right, moving on. Next. All right, what is this one? Who are you? I'm Regis, president of a fine company. If you find a good place for war, let me know. I'll be counting on you. Okay. Or, or you say, mining. I love mining. Mining is usually a fun mechanic in Harvest Moon. There's only a few Harvest Moon games where mining is terribly developed. Like, they made it really bad and boring and annoying. But the most, it's actually really good. Unlike fishing. Fishing is usually made in a very boring and bad way in most Harvest Moon games. But in some, it's actually very fun. Like, I actually like the way that Pioneers of Olive Town did their stuff. Um, for fishing. It made it like a little mini game, and I like that. You know, it, it's more interactive as opposed to just dropping the f lure. And oh my god, I didn't mean to curse. Oh my god, I, I meant freaking, dropping the freaking lure, you know, and um, and you know, just waiting for a bite, and I'm pressing A, and that's it. You know, like it's so boring. Okay, so here we got some stuff. We got a flower. We got some more herbs. I'll take these flowers. Is that something? Oh my god, I don't know what that is. I have to actually see what that is. 
There's a lot of stuff I can get here. Okay, I saw somebody else over here, by the way. Where you at? You! It's you! It's Lana! I don't think we met. I'm Lana, a pop star. I'm taking a break from my career right now. Anyway, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, so Lana's actually, uh, my wife in Island of Happiness. She's the person who I ended up marrying. Sometimes it's kind of cool to marry the same person in these similar games. And I don't know, I may go with that. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. Oh, and then there's that thing as well, the freaking... Yes, that's, that, that was actually your biggest moneymaker in Island of Happiness. Getting that seaweed. I'm Elisa. Ganon's my father. Get my beauty from my mom. I just, wow, way to just insult your dad like that. They're like, yeah, my, my dad's ugly, but my beauty is for my mom. Who's there? Oh, it's you, shiny. Man, you scared me. Welcome. Okay, let's see what you got. We can buy stuff. Plumber for 50 apiece. Yeah, this is actually uh, really terrible. Wow. There's also an axe and a hammer for 3,000 apiece. Fishing rod for 5,000. Oh my god. Um, well then. Actually, let's see what you have for build. Build. Upgrade house. How much does it cost here? 3,000 plus... Oh, jeez. That's a lot of money. That's like a lot of money. I'm not going with that right now. Screw that. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that I'm done here. I mean, there's a couple more houses, but other than that, like, I think I've explored this island. Hi, I'm Martin. I love fishing. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. That was Martin. And there's this one. Oh, here's Lana again. I, I don't know. Nice to meet you. I'm Hyla. This is a great place to relax and have a cup of tea. Stop by any time. Welcome. Water, sandwich, salad, toast. <laughs> okay. Guess we're done here. Nobody else is in this place, I don't think. Alright. I believe we are done with all that. So it's actually a good way to um, probably end this video. Because it's now 8.20pm and it's the recording is up to over 30 minutes now. So it was pretty good that I did this. I did a lot of um, introductions in general. I met the majority of people that I could. So that was pretty good. Uh, just to kind of let you know, uh, we won't be... Like, there won't be any crazy stuff until the 10th of spring. That's when the game really, uh, you know, kicks off. Um, so I'm, in these days, I'm just going to be meeting people, foraging, and watering my crops and stuff. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to sleep. But just letting you know, it's not until the 10th of spring when good stuff ends up happening. So, yeah. Oh, Ganon's gift. Coming in. Sounds good. What are you giving me? Sorry for coming by so early, I've got something for you. It's a few tools that are essential for taking care of your ranch. You receive an axe. You receive the hammer. You receive a sickle. Oh, thank you. My inventory is full. What? Do I have, are you saying I have to throw this stuff away? No way. No way. Actually, I don't know what's gonna happen. There. Like that. You're not placing your rucksack will be discarded. Are you sure? What the heck? I should have shipped this. Damn it, I just lost some money. Damn it. What tools do? Um, nah, it, it's fine. That'll be for next time. Alright, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will be posting multiple gaming videos of Harvest Moon Daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.